Hi, it's S again. And um, the last couple of weeks have been new, pretty different. And it's one of the reasons why I actually haven't even made a you know podcast in a minute. What I want to talk about tonight or today, what I want to talk about today <laughs> is patterns and history. I play a lot of video games. And when you think about it, regardless of which game you are playing, the most important thing is being able to recognize patterns. Could it, it could be FIFA, Fall Guys, Call of Duty, whichever game. It's all built on patterns. I'm also of the belief that these patterns translate into our normal life. So when you are playing these video games, you are not only playing the game. If you leave, it's like player versus player, you are playing the person as well. Because the person has patterns. So when it comes to you know outside video games, normal life, I feel like everyone also has tendencies. They have patterns that they kind of follow in certain conditions. And these their acts, these their actions and inactions that won't make up our history. I find it there's an irony. I find there's an irony that with the amount of times people have repeated that history as a stranger of repeating itself, we are still somewhere in history where we still have to repeat that. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it just sounds funny, you know. I feel like a lot of people look into patterns. You know, this guy likes to do this thing or whatever that case is. But I don't know how many people like to learn about history. Not just history of their country, the government, the people in power, their family members, but just history generally when needed. The truth of the matter is, in the last couple of weeks, we've learned a lot about ourselves, about who we are dealing with, about who we are. I think as individuals, as a group of people, we need to take our time to actually look back and also see what has happened in the past, what steps we're taking, what was done or not done, and the results as a result of it. That way we can not only learn to do something different, but know what to expect and be prepared for whatever outcomes might, result, might, be, might happen as a result of our you know, decisions. This does not necessarily apply only to the you know, government or whatever the case is. I think it applies to our, our daily lives as well. Trying to understand and see patterns and things and also understand their history. Because regardless of how we decide to go about our lives, the things from the past, history itself is what shapes the future. Either through doing something else or doing the same thing. The question is, which way are we going to go? And what are you going to do with this information in your hand? I don't even know if any of this makes any sense, but <laughs> it is what it is. Have a good one, guys.